So, and one of the other things that you were uh, keen to, to make people aware of when you introduced the film in Galway was that it's, uh, you made the film for an audience, you yeah. know? And I think people, there was almost a sense of relief uh, um, amongst the audience because it wasn't another kind of gritty, edgy, yeah. depressing depiction of Ireland, which, like, yeah. there had been a lot of, yeah. you know... Um, was it hard to to make something uh, in in that kind of? I think it was. Uh, I mean, er, er, you know, certainly early on with the, say the film board who were who developed the film, it it took like I'd be lying if I said the early stages of development the script were easy because it took quite a bit of convincing. Not necessarily in the story, but in my motivations for telling the story. And I think they thought that it was going to be cynically commercial. That it was kind of like a. You know, this that that it was something that I was doing to contrive a reaction, as opposed to that it being kind of heartfelt. Mm. And you know, there's a lot of personal stuff weirdly in the film, uh, in, like not not in a in a, uh, a literary way or whatever. But you know, like when I was six, my parents moved to Oxford. I was felt totally. I'd, be, I'd been in, grown up in Dublin. New school, new friends, found it really difficult to fit in, moved to a, a, a second school for like within a year, and around that time saw E.T., and I remember thinking like that the idea of a fella dropping out of the sky to be your friend was just going to be so much easier than facing you know the, the school. So when I started to, to think of the story itself from the point of view of, of an outsider arriving, uh, an outsider arriving to kind of save another outsider, then it became mm. more something that it was like, okay, there's a little bit of meat here, you know. Um, so, yeah, there was ultimately the opposition or the difficulty of, of t around that came with the sort of commerciality of the script was just to prove that we weren't doing it in a cynical way. And, and ultimately, I can't really fault the film board for that, you know, because they didn't, you know, at the end of the day, I hadn't made a film, I hadn't made a feature film before. And you know, so they 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 needed to be convinced. I'm 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 not sure that if I went to them tomorrow with the same script that they'd, you know, th there's a certain amount of um, of insecurity that comes with a first time director. And I think it's really important. Like I I wasn't precious about that. You know, like when I started, I was like 23.